Hi everybody, welcome to West Virginia. My name is Cheryl and this is my channel, Tranquil Stitches. Today is Thursday, October 25th, 2018, and this is my floss tube episode number 29. Chester is not saying hey today. He's got his back to you. I don't know if you can tell. He's turned around. He's pouting. Peggy, he found out Peggy's married. Hi, Peggy. Yeah. He took the news pretty hard. But he's, I think he's going to be okay. Young love, you know, what are you going to do? But anyway, and today is Thursday. I feel like I'm taking somebody's spot on floss tube. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's a little weird being here on Thursday. I'm going to have to do it on Monday and do a short one to get back on track. But, but anyway, had a really good time at the retreat. And I have taken the last couple days to try to get my house back in order from a bachelor living here for six days. Yeah, he, he tried, God love him, he did, he tried. And he can clean like nobody's business when he, t when he puts his mind to it. He can have a GI party in the bathroom. You go in there and eat off the floors, it's, it's you know. But that's when he puts his mind to it. <laughs> so, yeah, he's glad I'm back. <laughs> he's glad. He, he pouted the whole time. He'd text me and he'd say, when are you coming home? When are you coming home? And just, I miss you, I miss you, and it was so sweet. So, I think he missed me. He cooked while I was gone. He made spaghetti. He made meatloaf. He did good. But, yeah. Anyway, I had a great time at the retreat. My sister and I went, and we got there Thursday night and walked into the hotel. Now, I'm a country girl. You know, I'm a country girl. I've lived all over the world. Well, not yeah, all over the world. I've been lots and lots of places. I've seen some very nice things. But when I walked in that hotel and saw live royal swans in the lobby, that was impressive. That was impressive. This is George and Martha. They live in the lobby of the Embassy Suites Hotel at Dulles Airport in Herndon. And my first concern was, well, are they happy? I read the sign that they have up there introducing them, and they said that they are safe from predators and swans mate for life, so as long as they have each other, they're happy and they're well fed and they recognize a lot of the staff on site which is wonderful and i noticed one guy one day i watched him and he walked from one end of the pond to the other and he snapped his fingers and when he did they just followed him i don't know if it was the one if if it was the guy who feeds them or what but they just followed him from one end of the pond to the other which is really cool but they're beautiful beautiful creatures and very interesting to watch. So nice, nice hotel. Very nice accommodations. Um, as far as the room, we got a suite. So my sister had her own room, her own TV. I had my own room, my own TV. Nice. It was <clears throat> nice hotel. And then the retreat was wonderful. At our table, it was me and Wendy, my girl Wendy, Hoodlums times four. She was um, at my ta at our table, and then my sister sat there. My sister doesn't cross stitch, but she brought her crochet, so she worked on her afghan the whole weekend, and she got quite a bit done. She's almost um, finished with it. And then there was Sydney. Hi, Sydney. I got to meet Sydney. I had talked to Sydney via email before I had left for the retreat, so it was nice to be able to meet her. And then Darlene, um, Stitch Party of One, 
Angie and Amy. Angie and Amy are sisters, and they were at our table. Um, I think we crashed their table. Better, better description of that situation, but we crashed their table. Angie and Amy, wonderful girls, wonderful girls. So much fun, so much fun. And then we had Jill, my friend, my new friend Jill, She's a part of the Roanoke area Stitchers, which I found out there's a group in, uh, for the Roanoke area girls, and they meet once a month. So I'm going to go and start hanging out with those girls. I was excited to find that out. It's a couple hours away, but once a month, that's that's fine. I'll go and I'll drive a couple hours to go stitch for a day with with um, some wonderful ladies. But Jill is a part of that group. She's the one that introduced me to that group. So thank you, Jill. And I, um, she actually sat right behind me, so we turned our chairs a lot to where we could talk together. And um, so Jill was close by. And then um, I also got to meet Giselle, who I had conversed with the, uh, on email before the retreat. So it was very nice to meet her. And um, so, so many, so many wonderful ladies there. And we had, you know, our table, we laughed and, and we... We joked and we stitched and we um, there were two finishes at our table while we were there and I will um, there's a slideshow at the end it's about three and a half minutes long and it's got some retreat pictures as well as some Williamsburg pictures for you to uh, to look at if you if you'd like to and um, um, Amy had a finish she picked up a little kit there on the freebie table and stitched it while we were there so she got that finished whip that thing right up and then also oh and um sydney had two finishes she had two finishes she finished um a lizzie kate and a just nan while we were there so lots and lots of stitching we we did we did stitch and have a good time and minnie gray was there and she came over to our table um several times and and, and talked to us and visited with us and i got so tickled y'all this lady, she's a hoot, and she she has a floss tube, and I will link her below. And at the end of the retreat, she was leaving, and she and Wendy started talking, and Wendy said, did you finish that project? And she said, yeah, I finished it. And she said, did you do the beading? And Minnie said, oh, no, I do my beading at home. I like to cuss when I bead. <laughs> I lost it. I thought that was hysterical. I thought that was hysterical. She was so serious when she said it. She said, I like to cuss when I beat. <laughs> she said, they just go all over. But, oh, that was that was funny. So, it was so nice to meet Minnie. So, the retreat was wonderful. After the retreat, in a short mix-up with the hotel at Williamsburg, when I got there, I realized... After I got there and tried to check in, I booked November, the same weekend in November and not October. So that, that was a big kerfuffle, and I had to sit in the lobby and call Expedia and fix that, and you know, but but anyway, we, we got there, very nice lady at the desk. She, she got me all situated, and you know, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me at all. Because that's just how I roll. But anyway, <laughs> we uh, we got the room settled up and then had a nice dinner together, my sister and I. We were exhausted. And then the next morning we woke up and we went to House Tyrol, the stitching well in Williamsburg at Kings Mill. It's right at the, pretty much at the gate of Bush Gardens and it's it's in a little shopping center there and it's 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 a wonderful, wonderful LNS. Lydia has owned that LNS. She opened it in 1979. She's had that LNS since 1979. 39 years. And she is in the process of handing it over to her daughter, Paula. And her daughter has been there for years. She's worked there for years. So she's she's a very familiar face. So she is handing it over to Paula. So it's in good hands. And um, I'm sure Lydia will be there quite often to to visit so we had a really nice visit with those ladies and did a little damage to the the old debit card and um 
uh, that we met Diana, my friend, my best friend Diana and her Aunt Lola there and the four of us. Still no luck getting my sister to stitch, but we we all tried. We all tried. So she, she says she's going to stick with her crochet, but uh, we had a really nice visit at the LNS. And, um, and then we went to our standard, whenever Diana and I get together, we always go to Cracker Barrel. So we went to Cracker Barrel and ha had a nice lunch and did a little shopping there. And then we headed to the Yankee Candle store. The Yankee Candle outlet is in Williamsburg, and it is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is a row. It, on the outside, it looks like a row house, like a like a Charleston, South Carolina row house, with the, each each house being a different different color. It's beautiful on the outside, but on the inside, it's all open. It's it's you walk in one door on one end and come out the door on the other end, and it's it's like inside there's not separate it's it's all open so if you've never been to the Yankee Candle outlet in Williamsburg oh my goodness that is it's a magical magical place so picked up some things there and then we went to Joann's and then we went to Home Goods and so we we shopped till we dropped it was late af late afternoon when we finished up and headed back um, to the hotel and they headed home and uh, just just a wonderful day. I love getting together with with Diana and so wonderful to hang out with Lola and visit with those ladies and we just had a wonderful time and then the next morning we got up and we got ready and drove home from Williamsburg so we, we, we were exhausted when we got home. It, it was a long trip but wonderful time, wonderful time. So <clears throat> while I was at the retreat, I took three whips with me to work on there and I worked on all three of them. So I'll share those with you now. Lots to show you. So I, I took Mount Vernon by Plum Street this is the Colonial Gatherings Club, the exclusive. Because there it goes. This is Mount Vernon. So I'm working on this. This will be the next in my rotation for my twip stitching. I need to get this done. So <clears throat> there's where I got. I got the top floor on. It's a lot, a lot of white, <laughs> but I got that top floor on. I've got the bottom floor to go, so pretty good progress on that one. I also worked on the map and I'm excited to get, there it is all together. And I worked on the sun. I got the two colors done on the sun. Now it's um, pretty much a matter of a fill-in. So, and that's almost the top. So I'm almost at the top. Now, if you'll notice, there's a face in the sun. I'm not doing that face. I'm thinking if I can make it happen, I'm going to put my initials in the year in the sun. So I, I'm going to play around with a little charting to see see if I can make that happen. But there's my map. Love that progress. And then the last one I worked on was the way we ride by Blackbird. BBD Away We Ride 2018 Sale. I'll put that right here in case I'm wrong about that. It's a um, stitch along that's being hosted by Steph of Just Keep Stitching and Shell of Seashell Stitches on Floss 2. And I got quite a bit of progress. All I had done was the pitch of the roof and the birds, the two birds, but I got all of the 
what's done on the house I got done at the retreat. And I worked on a little bit in Williamsburg as well in the evenings, watching football. Watching my Redskins beat the Dallas Cowboys. That's the epitome of my season. I don't care if they lose 15, 14 games. I really don't. I don't care if they lose 14 games. As long as we beat Dallas, I'm good. I'm good. And I got to sit here and sit there in that hotel room and sit and stitch and watch my boys win. Icing on the cake. Icing on the cake, let me tell you. So that's my whips. I have four last week. Now, I received several, several gifts that I wanted to share with you and brag on a little bit. When I first got to the retreat, I, I had this little bag set in front of me. And Miss Jill comes over and she says, I brought you a little something. Isn't that cute? It's, it's like, it's adorable. And inside, she gave me this little card, Mary Engelbright, with a sweet little note inside. Life yourself into stitches. Is that, that is the cutest thing. But inside is a ton of washi tape. Look at there. <laughs> it's a ton of washi tape in there. Oh my goodness, so tickled. She, she said that her aunt passed those on to her and she won't use them, so she brought them to me. This was so sweet. Smile, laugh, the good life. <laughs> so, thank you, Jill. So, such a sweet, sweet thought to, you know, to think of me and pass those on to me because I will definitely use those. Definitely use those. And then Miss Darlene brought me some beads. She, she shared some beads with me. And then while we were there, we had a barter for some additional beads that she brought that you will be seeing later on in various forms and she also wanted to show you this she made me this little this little tiny needle minder look how cute i'm trying to get to where you can look at that i have the little she brought me a little male to match it match her so i have the little male and female i couldn't find the male i don't know where i put him he'll turn up but little tiny like, if you're working on an ornament and you don't want a big, you know, so cute, so cute. So, thank you, Darlene. I'm, I'm really upset because I noticed when I was doing my slideshow, I don't have any pictures of Darlene. I think I took my camera out one time the whole time I was there. I, I was just right in my mouth. And the whole time I was at the retreat, I probably I took pictures one time inside the room. And I, I realized that Darlene isn't in any of them, so... I got pictures of Dar Darlene when I went to St. Albans, so that's good. But I'm just a little bummed that I didn't get any pictures. Darlene, we're going to have to get back together so I can get a picture. Okay. Wendy. Wendy also brought me this entire bag full of planner stuff. Entire, entire bag full of planner stuff. It is chock full of stickers and um, flags and sticky notes, notepads, sticker books. Because, you know, Wendy's a planner, too. Wendy's a planner, too, and she, she journals and she makes beautiful junk journals. So she she has, she has said she was just sharing her stash with me. She's got tons and tons of stash from her years of, of um, doing planners and journals. So she brought me a whole bunch of stuff. And then she also brought me this little orc container that she made. And I know you've seen these. You just pop that out. And it's a little orc container. 
and then when you're done your orts stay in there you just twist it and pop it back up in there is that not clever that is the most clever thing I love it I love it Wendy my girl okay I also when I left the retreat and went to Williamsburg, I got gifts from Diana. She gave me this beautiful tin. Look at that. And um, it had some fabric inside. Beautiful fabric. And she also gave me this Plum Street's 13 Owls. She just finished this. She just had a finish and she passed the, the chart to me. It's still going to glare because it's a picture. But it says 13 owls in a haunted tree. And stared down and stared down so it daunted me. One laughed out, hoot, there she be. So they all joined together and they taunted me. <laughs> yep, it sounds like my high school. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. And then also we get to Cracker Barrel and Miss Lola hands me this beautiful bag and inside that bag is this. She made this. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> she made this. Isn't that beautiful? I was sitting in Cracker Barrel and I put it around my head like this. And I was sitting at the table with this thing around my neck like this. So after we ate and we're headed out, these two ladies come up to us and one of them says, was that a scarf that you had around your neck? And I said, no, 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 that's, it's a garland. But um, she said, well, I told her I didn't think that was a scarf because I saw leaves on it. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, Lola is so talented, oh my gosh. And she showed us some, showed me some pictures of her autumn decor at her house. So, yeah. So, thank you, Lola. Thank you, Lola. She gave me a couple little candle holders, and she brought me some homemade carrot cake whoopie pies that her husband, Carlton, made. Oh, my gosh. A couple of them did make it home, and I shared them with my husband and he was very very appreciative as well <laughs> so they're gone now <laughs> they're gone gone done when i get home i have a package waiting for me to open i had a couple packages actually but i had this one and inside this little box i got This sweet card. Isn't she precious? Look at her on that little nest. And <clears throat> inside was this. And I'm sure a lot of you know who sent me this. This is the first house on Houses of Hawkrun Hollow. Finished into this beautiful round. Burlap trim, which that's my jam. <laughs> Cindy from Cindy's Cross Stitch sent this to me. And I had seen in her video where her design um, her 
houses that she was stitching. It was started by her friend, and something happened to it. And so she had decided to make these, and she held this one up, and she said, I know where this one's going. And I was thinking, what a lucky person, <laughs> whoever gets those, because they're, all be they're just beautiful. And lo and behold, this one doesn't show up in my mailbox. Cindy, I will treasure it always. It's absolutely beautiful. And you know, Hawk Run, that's, that's also my jam. <laughs> I probably sound silly. My kids, if they heard me say that, they go, Mom, stop. Don't do that again. <laughs> but yeah, I love that. Cindy, thank you. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. That is just a beautiful, beautiful gift. Today, right before the video, my husband comes in with the mail. I get a rack out of the blue. What was that? Did I just whistle? Anyway, out of the blue, I get I get this rack from my beautiful, enchanted Georgia Peach Victoria. Didn't expect this. This is completely out 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 there. She sends me this little note, and it says, tag, you're it. And it's a tag. Get it? <laughs> She's so funny. She's my favorite. But she sent me this planner bag. And she, the note says that she's give up on her planner obsession. She's no longer interested in planning. It's got places for pens and pockets inside. So this little puppy is chock full as well of stickers and planner supplies. I am good on planner supplies. I am good. I, I will, if I never buy another sticker, well, at least for years, I'm, I'll, I'll be good because I'm, um, look at these. I want you to look. Reminder to buy dog biscuits. That's cute. All kinds of stickers. All kinds of little flags and all nicely, nice, separated into little baggies. She also sent me a mini cover and back with the rings. Discs. So paper clips and flags, labels, just chock full of good, good, goody, goody, goody. She said, she said she shared, she split her stash between me and another lady. I'm not going to say because I don't want to spoil a surprise, but Victoria, I just don't know what to say. I watch her videos. I watch I watch her videos as soon as they hit, as soon as they pop up, I'm there. I, I just, she's one of my absolute favorites. Victoria, I love you, sweetheart. I do. You're my girl. Okay. Barters. I wanted to thank Victoria. We had a wonderful barter together. We got her done and everybody's happy and um, wonderful barter with you. Thank you, Victoria. Also had a barter with Penny. Crafty One Cent, if you're not watching her, go watch Penny. She's wonderful as well. And I'll link I'll link these these everybody below. But um, Penny and I had a barter and she said in her last video that she tried linen and she didn't care for it. And that she was going to destash her linen. And I said, oh, 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 <laughs> I said, you interested in a barter? And she said, absolutely. So I sent her some things and she sent, sent me her, uh, some, uh, some of her linen. And she also included extra, these beautiful little ladybug counting pens. Look how cute. Look how adorable. Red and black. So girly. So... We did a barter. <laughs> I've got some fabric. So thank you, Penny.
so much. She um, There's a piece of 40 count in there. And I did that intentionally because I'm, I'm going to try some of the some of the larger counts. I'm, I'm, I, I feel like I can do it. I'm, I'm going to try it. I've, I've got a couple pieces of 40 count, but that's that's going to happen. And then I also did a wonderful barter with Miss Pam. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pam. Um, we uh, we made arrangements and we made a nice barter, and she sent me some beautiful beads out of her stash and um, so I appreciate that love bartering okay bingo let's draw some bingo words shall we all right if you're not familiar I'm hosting a holiday bingo game that is currently in progress so it's um, too late to join this round but I'll probably do some more bingos if this turns out well and everybody has fun I might I might make this a seasonal thing. So I'm going to draw three new words for this week. The first one is number 10, Elf. Number 10, Elf. The second one, it's long sleeve season. <laughs> the second one is number 35, Stocking. Number 35, stocking. And the last one is number four, Rudolph. Number four, Rudolph. So check your list for number four, Rudolph, number 35, stocking, and number 10, elf. Those are this week's words. We'll draw three more words next week and again if you do bingo be sure and email bingo in the subject line to tranquil stitches bingo at gmail um, so that virginia can check um, your words to make sure everything's been called and get you taken care of okay the prize again is a 25 dollars gift certificate from the cottage needle okay all right, let's bingo. All right, retail therapy. <laughs> they had a freebie table. <clears throat> now I've got glitter everywhere. They had a freebie table at the retreat. Oh, namaste. Home Goods has Ray Dunn. I didn't know, and I've not, I've not been too interested in <clears throat> acquiring any except this one. I, when I saw that that they had the Namaste online, I said I will have that one. I like the one that says coffee, but this one was the one I wanted. So I saw it there, and I stuck it in the buggy, and now I have it. So, I love this. So, they had a freebie table. And on that freebie table, I picked up a couple of things and brought them home. Right there in big number one, Lizzie Kate Christmas, Spirit of Christmas Mystery Sampler, part one. And... I'm thinking I'm going to need the other two parts of this. It's very pretty. So, I picked that up. And I also picked up this chart because I have tons and tons of bread cloth and towel leaflets, and I didn't have this one. So, it's Christmas towels and bread cloths. And I love stitching bread cloths. And I love stitching towels. I've got all kinds of towels and bread cloths that I need to stitch up. But they make wonderful gifts. There's even a Hanukkah one in this one. So I picked up those two babies. I um, Katrina Boyd runs the ran the retreat the Stitch Fest, and she brings like a portable shop with her 
and you can shop with her while you're there. And I found this beautiful piece of cocoa 32 count linen. It's gorgeous. It's it's deeper brown than what's showing. But it's um it just says cocoa. I'm not sure of the maker. It's soft. That's beautiful. So I picked that up. She had beautiful fabrics. But as soon as those fabrics hit that table, buddy, swarm. <laughs> it was like phew. And I also got this one, which fell in love with this one. Silver Creek Samplers. And you know, they never sweet marmalade. Look at this. Look at him. The first says, This tiny mouse lives in a house beneath the berry shade. He gathers up the ripest fruit and makes sweet marmalade. <laughs> I love that. I like Silver Creek samplers. I've stitched one of their designs before. There's still one more I'm after. But I saw that and I just had to have it. And then I also picked up this. Feliz Navidad. Blackbird. And gorgeous. I mean, the cup. Hmm. I'll probably do this in the call for. That is just, the colors are just luscious. So that's what I got from Katrina at the retreat. A couple other things too, but this is my house Tyrol bag. Happy, happy, happy. Let me untie this and share with you what is inside. I got stuff. This is 32 count opal. Picture this plus. I don't know what I'm going to stitch on it, but look at this beauty. Look. Oh, is that, it's like a muddy purple mauve, just grapey, I don't know how to, it, it's showing pretty true. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Okay, so I got that. I also got... This, which I knew I was going to get it, and it was there, and I said, well, um, it's time. But she didn't have, she didn't have all of them, but, but I did get the first one. This is Jeanette Douglas Letters, Letters from Mom, and I am going to stitch this series. I am going to do it, because that was, that's something I would love to leave for my children. But this is the first, the part one with the cover. Got that. And I also picked up this one. I should have already had this out, but I didn't want to I didn't want to untie my bag. Stacy 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 Goodness. Stacy why can't I say that? Amy, Angie, Rory, 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 Rory. Did I do it? Rory, Rory. Stace, she, 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 she. <laughs> Stacy Nash Primitives. Christmas at Hollyberry Farm. Oh. And. Threads to stitch it with. You guys got to see these. Got to see these. Look. Look at the colors in this. Oh. Look at that. Whew. 
just yeah they're all gassed shaker threads mm. so that's my haul from house Tyrol. love it this holly berry farms going on my to-do list for 2019 i'm going to start that it's too too pretty not to okay i also came home to my very first nest egg from three owl threads it's um i signed up for this i think the end of september and i this is my very first one and looks like I got in on the last of the G's and the first of the H's. So, there's the ones I got. But these are, I, I got on on the end of the G's, looks like beginning of the H's. And these are such a, fruit gnats. Y'all got fruit gnats. They're, they're, I mean, they're killing us. Um. Anyway, great value. If you're interested in um, enhancing your Fancy Floss collection, you can choose Gassed, Weeks, or color or uh, Classic Color Works. Ten skeins of Gassed shipped, shipped for $23. That's not bad. And she does them alphabetically. So if you get all the way right back around to the alphabet, to the beginning of the alphabet, you'll have all of the colors. So just just a wonderful. I think I did it on her. Um, I signed up on her Facebook group. I think. Yeah. So I'll put the information below if you're interested in doing that. You can't you can't beat it. Okay. I have some things I'd like to rehome. I have a magazine and two charts. The first one is this Leisure Arts October 1985. I can't see. 95. October 95 Leisure Arts magazine. It, the cover's a little wonky, but um, this chart is inside. Isn't that cute? Also inside are these bread claws, the seasonal angels. There's a winter, autumn, spring, and summer. And this autumn heart, it's very similar to the blue de sheen. This is inside. Seasons of the heart. Designed by Linda Cal Calhoun. These beauties are in there. Sorry for the barking. And these cuties. So if you're interested in this Leisure Arts October 1995, just um, put magazine in your comment. I have this Alma Lynn, a garden variety. Sorry about the barking. Uh, I apologize. Husband fired up the four-wheeler, and that's what happens. But it's got these uh, gardening, typical Alma Lynn angels in this one. So, we've got, um, just put uh, garden, garden leaflet. And then I have this Leisure Arts... Linda Gilliam Kitchen Collection. There are there's a Kitchen Angel, this B chart. Inside and else. Oh, this is cute. Fresh pie, blueberry, peach, apple. 
And then this one, Kitchen Collectibles, that's cute too. So put Kitchen Leaflet. Okay, I do not have any bags this week. I have, obviously, I, I haven't had any time to uh, make any. I will be making some today. Lisa, I've got yours. Um, I've got some orders I, I need to fill. And some bags will be going out this week um, over the next few days. So if you're looking from a bag from from me, you'll you'll be you'll be hearing from me in the next couple days. And I'm gonna get caught up with those. And uh, I have some some other racks that I'm I'm getting ready to send out too. I'm I'm behind on a, on a few things, so just trying to get caught up. And I have a slideshow at the end. I have pictures of the hotel, pictures of the retreat pictures of Williamsburg and um, the LNS and then I have pictures of our drive home we stopped on Afton Mountain which is between Charlottesville and Staunton and it's um, there's a overlook there and there is a VDOT memorial that they have erected there to honor the the highway workers who work for Virginia the Virginia Department of highways which is it's a beautiful beautiful monument um there so we 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 try to we stop there every time we go through because the view is just phenomenal it's phenomenal it's it's just the skyline and the the trees are are um the tops of the trees are are, are turning we, we noticed we're hopeful that when we go down next month or up next month that we won't we won't have missed the trees. It's it's just a couple of weeks away, so I'm hoping we're hoping that the trees will be fully turned when we get ready to go. Speaking of that, plans we will be going to Cross Stitch Station in Waynesboro for their Christmas open house on November 10th. My sis, my sister and I, and um, my husband said I'm not leaving again without him, so he'll be tagging along for that. So we're going we're going there and then we're going to Monticello after so um, and we're meeting up with Diana and her friend and we are going to be um, going to Monticello which I'm I'm excited about because I've never been there so we're going to make um, a weekend of it and in, enjoy a few days away and um, as far as stitchy plans uh, Monopoly I'll be working on Monopoly I didn't take it with me because I just needed a break from that Ada and the even weave everything um, other than Mount Vernon, which Mount Vernon is is being stitched on a piece of even weave, even weave, but it's a dream to work on. I don't really know what kind it is. It's a mystery piece, but it is a dream to work on. Um, so that and the um, the way we ride and the map are on linen. And I just took linen projects and that one even um, even weave that I really like because I needed a break from the Ada and the hateful even weave. So I didn't even take ghost alphabet with me. I, I just took, um, I took some linen so I could get a break from it. And so this week I'll be working on Monopoly. Well, I'm going to be working on that quite a bit. Um, it's got to be finished and it's creeping up on me. So I'm going to stitch on that. I'm going to stitch on Mount Vernon. That's my twip stitching for this coming week and um, I will hopefully be back with you Monday for a very short progress um, update and then I'll be back to my regularly scheduled programming <laughs> the following week. So thank you for stopping by. Thank you for subscribing. My new subscribers, welcome. I appreciate you and my returning subscribers also, also always, always thank you so much. And um, again, I have a, um, some pictures for you at the end if you're interested so until I see you again I hope you have a wonderful weekend and happy stitching